if you keep files and documents in different cloud storage services, or if you need to move from one service to another, then this video might be for you. My name is Carlos, and today I'm going to talk about MultiCloud. It is a tool or service that allows you to connect to different cloud storage services and moving files between them easily. It works with services like Microsoft OneDrive, Google Drive, Dropbox, and many others. Here are some scenarios where I think might be useful. Move files from one Google Drive account to another Google Drive account. They could be a free Gmail account or Google Workspace. Move files from one Google Drive to Microsoft OneDrive or vice versa. Move files using other services like Dropbox and many others. You have different active cloud storage services and you want to sync some or all your folders and files. If you have followed my channel in the past, you might have seen that I created several videos where I tried to provide tools and techniques to migrate documents between different cloud services. Well, in this case, I found a tool that can help you solve many of the challenges that you may find when you have to move files in the cloud. Using this tool is like having a direct connection to all your cloud storage services from a single point. It makes moving your files a very easy task. To review this tool, I received a free account from MultiCloud, which allowed me to conduct several tests and create this video. This is not a sponsored video. If you use it and purchase any of their plans, I will get paid a small commission. In any case, the price that you will pay if you decide to purchase any of their plans will be the same. I mean, it does not make it more expensive for you, but you will be supporting my channel. Now, MultiCloud has several plans, including a free version. The price will vary depending on the amount of data that you can transfer between the different cloud services. The free plan allows you to transfer up to 5 GB of data. Then you have a plan where you can transfer up to 1200 GB a year. And another plan with 2400 GB limit a year. You can also have a unlimited data transfer plan. You can select to pay monthly or yearly. Of course, your price will be better if you decide to pay for the whole year. At the end of this video, I will give you my opinion or point of view about the price of this tool. Now, let me show you how it works. You will need to create a MultiCloud account within their website and you can click on Get Starter. From here, you will need to enter your email address and create your own password. If you prefer, you can use a Google account, a Facebook or an Apple account to create your MultiCloud account. I have already created an account and I use a Google account, so I need to click on Google. The account is not here, so I need to click on use another account, then click on next and enter my password. I have two step verification, so I need to confirm from my phone. Now I am within my MultiCloud account. On the left, we will find a menu and within common tools, we will see task list where we will find all the tasks that we have already created. We have Cloud Transfer, which is the tool that will allow us to transfer between the different cloud accounts that we have. Then we have Team Transfer. With this one, you can transfer multiple accounts at once. Then you have Cloud Sync. With this option, you can sync two different cloud accounts. And you can have one-way synchronization or two-way synchronization. We have Cloud Backup, where you can create a backup of one of your accounts. Remote Upload. With this, you can upload files using torrent, just entering the URL. Then you have shares, where you can share your files directly from here. You have email migration. I will probably will create a video in the future about this tool. Then below, you have my online services. You have add cloud, add email, and then you have the different cloud services that you have already added. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to add a cloud service. For this, you need to click here, add cloud. Then on the right, you will find all the options available within MultiCloud. You can add personal accounts and also business accounts. For personal, for example, we have Google Drive, Share With Me, OneDrive, Dropbox, and so on. And for business cloud, you have Google Workspace, Share Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, and Box. In our demo, as an example, we're going to add some cloud services. For example, OneDrive and Google Drive. We will start adding a OneDrive personal account so we click here, OneDrive. We enter the email address associated with our personal account. Click on Next. 
and we enter the password. So at this moment, MultiCloud is asking for permission to access the OneDrive. So we click on Accept. MultiCloud has connected to the OneDrive account. So we are able to see all the folders and files within the OneDrive account. On the left, we see the OneDrive account. I'm going to rename this one so it will be useful in the future to easily recognize the account. I will add personal and I rename it. Now I'm going to add another cloud service. In this case, I'm going to add a OneDrive for Business, which is part of Microsoft 365. If you are the administrator of Microsoft 365, you can access all the accounts for your organization. In this case, I just want to access for this specific user. So I click on Access Personal Cloud. We enter the username and click Next. We enter the password and click on Sign In. This account is also using multifract authentication. It means that I need to authorize it from my phone. MultiCloud is asking for permission to access the account. So I need to select here and then click on Accept. Now MultiCloud has connected to the account and is accessing all the folders and files. On the left, I will see the account listed here. OneDrive for Business. I will also rename this account. I will do right click and click on Rename. And I will call this one ITB Cloud. I will add two more cloud services. So I click on Add Cloud. Now I'm going to add a Google Drive account. It's going to be Google Drive on a personal account. Here's the email address for the Google account that I want to add. Enter the password and click on Next. I am receiving a code on my phone that will allow me to connect to the account. I need to authorize MultiCloud to connect to the account, so I click on Allow. MultiCloud has connected to the Google Drive. I will add one more Google Drive account. In this case, it is going to be a Google Drive associated to a Google Workspace account. So I click on Google Workspace under the Business Cloud, and I'm going to access just the information for the user. Then I click on Access Personal Cloud. I'm going to select the user, enter the password, and click on Next. As we have done before, we need to authorize MultiCloud to access the account. And we are now seeing all the folders and files within this Google Drive. As we can see, we can add multiple cloud services. In this case, we have added Google Drive, personal and business account, and OneDrive, personal and business. Once all the account has been added, I am ready to transfer files between the different accounts. To do this, I need to click on Cloud Transfer and then we need to select the origin and the target. Let's start with the origin. We just click here, from. We have the different cloud services that we have added before. For this example, I will select this Google Drive. And from here, I will be able to select the folders that I want to transfer. I can transfer the whole content of this Google Drive by selecting here. But if I want just to transfer a single folder, I just unselect this one and select the folder or folders that I want to transfer. For example, I can select budget, folder one ENG, and pictures, for example. Then click on OK. Now on the right, I need to select the target. I mean, the cloud service where I want to transfer the files to. So click here. And for this example, I'm going to transfer to the Google Drive for this Google Workspace account. At this point, I can decide in which folders I want to copy or transfer the information. However, I also can create a new folder, which is what I'm going to do. On the right, I will see this folder with a plus sign. I will click here and I will create a new folder. And I will call it New Transfer from Personal Account. I will highlight the folder and click OK. Before proceeding, I can review the transfer. From these three folders on the personal account is going to be transferred to a new folder, which is called New Transfer from Personal within the Google Workspace account. Before proceeding, I also can schedule this transfer to happen in the future. At this moment, I'm not interested in that. I just want to do it now. So I click on Transfer Now. A new transfer task has been created and we can see it here on the left. We can click on Task List and there is a new task and it show me the details of this task. Where is it going to be transferred from and where is it going to be transferred to? And as a status, it is waiting. Depending on the amount of data, it could take a little while. For this transfer, I don't need to do anything else. Actually, I can log out from here and I can come back 
to see the status of this transfer. While this transfer is being processed, I can proceed with a different transfer. It means that I can create another task even if it hasn't completed yet. So I will click on Cloud Transfer again and I will create a new task. Click on From. For this example, I'm going to create a transfer from OneDrive. So I click here. It gives me the option to transfer all the folders or just one folder. I'm going to transfer just one folder which I created here, which is Test Folder. I click on OK and then select the target. As we said before, we can transfer from OneDrive to Google Drive or from OneDrive to another OneDrive. My target in this case is going to be this personal account, the first one. I will create a new folder to keep everything organized. So I click on the right on the plus sign and I will call this folder from OneDrive. So I click on the check mark. I have to make sure the folder is highlighted and then click on OK. Again, before clicking on transfer now, I can check what is going to happen in this transfer. It is going from OneDrive for Business to Google Drive to a folder called from OneDrive. Then I click on Transfer Now. I will check now the task list and I am able to see the progress. It is now 90% progress. Our previous task is still waiting. The transfer is now complete, as we can see here. Success. If we click on the right, on the three dashes, we can see the logs of this transfer. We can read here that 11 files were processed and transferred, the amount of data, the date and time that the transfer start and when it was completed. And we can read here, success in transferring all files. On the top right, you are able to check how much data you have transferred so far. As you can see, the process is very simple. You just need to start by adding the cloud services and then create the task to transfer your data. It is like a hub that connects to the different cloud services. The data doesn't need to be downloaded to your local computer. The transfer happens from server to server or from service to service, regardless of the cloud provider. After waiting a little bit, our task number three is now completed. If you need to use this tool just one time for a migration, you can think that your migration cost would be basically the cost of the tool for one year, which could be, for example, $59.99 US dollars if you are under the 1200 gigabyte of data or $99.98 US dollars for 2400 gigabytes. If the amount of data is over 2400 gigabyte, then you can use the unlimited plan, which is $119 a year. So I think you will be saving many hours of work when you use a tool like this one, even if you use it only one time. Now, I would like to hear from you do you have any comment or questions? Put it here down below so all can benefit from them. If you like this video or find it useful, feel free to subscribe. Maybe consider supporting the channel by using the super thanks button. Thank you for watching and see you next time.